this champion, Olympian, how are you feeling right now? It's surreal and um, I don't know, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> I can't believe it. My family, Wazelle, everyone, um, my friends are here. I just, it's like, it's been a long road. Um, I was saying uh, to them, I've never podiumed in a national event, um, NCAAs or USAs, and I knew, and it's not, it, for many different reasons, and <laughs> I knew I was at this level, and it just like, I am so thankful for the support that I've had throughout the years um, to allow me to train to get to this place. Did you see any of the stuff that happened behind you with the falls? Um, I, yes, I saw, a, well, kind of, I saw them falling. Was um, that in the front side. of you, right? It was like to the side of me. Um, our plan going into the race was actually to tuck in. I've been running um, pretty wide the past two races. I'm kind of, I haven't run a ton of eights this season, and I'm, the plan was to like get used to running eights through the rounds. And we saw that I kept getting into trouble with jostling by running on the outside. So I was just like tuck in on the rail, run as short of a distance as possible, um, and don't get in, don't get in trouble. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I saw tripping, I saw Brenda kind of trip and Alicia start to fall. Um, yeah. Um, I'm very happy that Drew pointed that out to me because I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where I would have been, but I definitely, up until now, it's my, been my instinct to try to be on the outside, to like try to not get boxed in. And today, because of the wind and because of the possibility of big bodies moving around, we just decided to go be on the inside. It's something we'll open up. Uh, we actually. The original plan was to be like the second or third person on the inside, so that wasn't quite what I was doing, but I just had faith that something was going to open, and I'm happy, so happy that he mentioned that. Again, in his plan, it was that from the four to 500 mark in the past two races, some stuff has been happening, so we didn't obviously like visualize that exactly, but it was... Uh, we met yesterday and talked about it, because I got kind of like bumped in the first round, in the like 450, and again, my momentum was kind of clipped in the, in the semi at about 450, because I was on the outside, people were trying to move. Um, so he, so I'm really happy he pointed it out to me. <laughs> when did you see the opening? When did you move? Um, I mean, I was again stuff. It was good stuff was happening. I was feeling really confident, but there was still um, was Molly still in front of me at like 150? Someone was still in front of me at like 150, and um, I could tell she was maybe moving out. And I felt, and I felt like I was close enough that as soon as as soon as something was going to happen, that I could make it or go for it. So whenever that happened. I went for it. <laughs> Last question, and we got press conference. How do you shift your focus now to Rio? Um, again, we've we've been we've been doing this. I mean, I, I've done some specific 800 work, but I didn't decide on the eight until about two or three weeks ago. And so I've been doing a lot of strength work. And so now, um, more so even than we have been doing before. I think probably some sharpening stuff. Um, but I'm gonna take a few days. I think. Oh. Well, I don't know, I've just talked to Drew. I, I don't know. Are you project, still running right? the 15 Yeah, so I run with Norcal Distance Project. Um, will you still run the 15 The 800. No, are you running oh. the 1500 later? Uh, I mean, I'll just I'll decide with him. Um, yeah, so TBD. But I think right, yes, TBD, but right now I'm focusing on the 8. So. Okay, we gotta go press.